Hello, I am uh, Dr. Venkatesh. I am head of cardiology at Aster RV Hospitals in JP Nagar, Bangalore. A frequent question that is asked is, what is the first aid for a heart attack? Now we have to understand that in a heart attack patient, we say that time is muzzle. That means the later we give the real treatment for the heart attack, the more muscle of the heart gets damaged. So we need to treat the patient early as soon as the heart attack ensues. So therefore, the first aid for a heart attack is usually to reach a hospital first. Let me give an illustration. There is a patient who has chest pain and the patient suspects that it is a heart attack. So usually the circle is the patient will call someone who is known and uh, asks what should I do. Some immediate home remedies may be suggested. A nearby uh, clinics are uh, suggested where they go, where there may not be adequate facility. And finally the patient reaches um, to a major, a bigger hospital where facilities to treat a uh, heart attack are available. So in this whole process, a lot of time is wasted and this time can be valuable because sometimes when there is a delay in reaching the hospital, there can be even fatal accidents. So therefore, we must understand that the moment there is a heart attack, the proper treatment that has to be given will be done in a, a hospital which has facilities and to reach that hospital is the most important step for us. Before that, there is a first aid which can be done. That is, there is a medicine called as aspirin. Aspirin is a blood thinner and it is known that when administered early during the phase of a heart attack, it can save lives. So, tablets which are dissolvable in water, that is, uh, dispersible aspirin, a brand name of Disprin or soluble aspirin, a brand name of Aspisol are available in the market. 350 milligrams of these uh, tablets can be kept in the house or in a work facility wherever it is and if anyone develops chest pain and if a heart attack is suspected, the first thing we can do is put this tablet in a glass of water and ask the patient to drink it. Better still is to give this tablet to the patient and ask the patient to chew the tablet because when the tablet is chewed, the oral mucosa, the uh, membrane of the mouth itself can absorb the uh, medicine and the medicine starts acting quite early. So because of that, uh, the blood starts getting to thin and this itself can prevent major complications and sometimes can even save lives. So the first aid for a patient who is suspected to have hosp um, a heart attack is to take aspirin and the next step is to reach a hospital which has got all the facility. There is no point in going to hospitals which have no facility to treat um, heart attacks. For example, we go to a place where we find that there is no facility to do, perform an ECG. An ECG is performed but there is no doctor to read the ECG. Our doctor is there to read the ECG but there is no ICU because an ICU is required to administer certain drugs. Sometimes we perform a procedure called as an angioplasty. If the hospital doesn't have any of these facilities, then going to that hospital or going to that clinic will only waste time. Therefore, we must make sure that we reach a place which has got all the facility. That means before somebody in our house or before somebody in our workplace develops a chest pain, we should always have a plan in our mind as to in case somebody develops symptoms of heart attack, where do we go? Which is the nearest hospital which has got all these facilities so that without any delay, we can go to these places. So this is one of the most important steps. So the first aid is to plan ahead of time as to when somebody gets a chest pain, where do we go? And then when somebody actually gets the chest pain to administer aspirin. One important thing I would like to tell, there is a common uh, belief that if you give a tablet 
to be put under the tongue this this tablet uh, which are which are called as nitrates one of the brand names is called as sorbitrate if somebody has a heart attack put a tablet of sorbitrate under the tongue this may not be always a beneficial thing in fact in some kind of heart attacks when this tablet is put under the tongue it can actually lead to some complications because of which treatment of a heart attack can become difficult therefore we suggest that please refrain from giving the nitrate tablet to patients who have not been advised by their doctors so if we are taking that uh, nitrate tablet under the tongue because our doctor advised and somebody next to us developed chest pain please do not give that because sometimes it can be detrimental so the first aid is to reach the hospital fast and to give aspirin before starting from the uh, from home so these are the most important steps we take before at the time of a heart attack